Internet has been going crazy with this AI focused IDE cursor. Cursor is a fork of Visual Studio Code and people have been going bonkers with what anybody can do with cursor. Eight year old built in 45 minutes, she built completely new chatbot that is powered by Cloudflare and how she learned to code with cursor because she could converse in natural language with cursor and then she could actually end up building a chatbot eight year old just imagine and in another example from the internet there is a designer who ended up building his own dream video editor and thanks to cursor so he used cloud ai as a backend for cursor and created 11000 lines of code 685 commits three full weeks and he has a tool that he always wanted it's can you believe it like somebody used ai to build this kind of a video editor i think programming is shifting massively and we should ideally acknowledge the fact that this is happening andri kapati recently said i mean a couple of days back programming is changing so fast i'm trying vs code cursor plus sonnet 3.5 instead of GitHub Copilot. If you were to compare GitHub Copilot and Cursor, you could see massive difference in terms of how Cursor is better. Primarily because of the backend also, you can power Cursor with Sonnet 3.5, but GitHub Copilot is always powered by GPT-40 or whatever the OpenAI latest model is. I think it's now a net win. Just empirically, over the last few days, most of my programming is now writing English prompting and then reviewing and then editing the generated diffs and doing a bit of half coding where you write the first chunk of the code you would like, maybe comment it a bit so the LLM knows what the plan is. And then the tap, 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 tap through completions. Sometimes you get 100 line diff to your code that nails it, which could have taken 10 minutes before. I still don't think I got sufficiently used to all the features. It's a bit like learning to code all over again. But I basically can't imagine going back to unassisted coding at this point, which was one the only possibility just three years ago. I mean, this guy, this guy taught deep learning on MIT uh, website, um, probably in the MIT university as well. This guy was previously the head of or a director of AI at Tesla. And this guy has been quite amazing. His teaching is amazing. His coding is amazing. He codes in low level programming languages, even C. Um, I'm not I'm not saying that C is a low level programming language. I'm just saying he codes in a lot of languages and he believes without any ego, he believes that programming is changing so fast thanks to Cursor. And this guy is slightly an opposite of what Andre Karpati is. So he, he has an unconventional approach, but he also codes and he runs a very popular, uh, uh, let's say photo AI based photo studio. And he's saying, I'm telling you, if you don't code with Cursor plus Claude it, you are shooting yourself in the feet. Don't be stupid. I think it is very important for us to acknowledge at this particular point that Cursor is quite amazing. This is the former head of developer relations of OpenAI and currently part of Google. He said, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Cursor is the best AI developer product excited to back among Michael whole Cursor team. What is it? Cursor has recently raised a new uh, round of funding. They have raised $60 million and every user of Cursor is insanely happy because everybody has a cultish love for this particular video IDE. So which is in this particular case as a fork of Visual Studio Code. There's always this question why Cursor was never a plugin, rather it's a fork of Visual Studio Code. But I'm not going to leave the philosophical conversation aside at this point. And Cursor has recently raised $60 million. So why am I making this video? Maybe this is all known information for you, but I want to encourage you to use Cursor if you have not used it. They've got a free plan. So if you go to their website, you can see that they've got a free plan. The free plan includes a pro two week trial, 2000 completions, 50 slow premium requests and 200 Cursor small users. But if you were to pay $20, then you get a lot more than that. Now, what is a slow premium request in Cursor Small? Cursor Small is their own model. They've uh, built or fine-tuned a model, and that is Cursor Small. It's faster, but not as good as the premium models. And that is what you're uh, limited to 200. What is a 50 slow premium request that you get? The premium models in this case are GPT-40, GPT Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So if you were to use Cursor, 
I would strongly encourage you to use it with Claude 3.5 Sonnet because the other two models are not as good as Claude 3.5 Sonnet for coding. Now, one might actually wonder what would Claude 3.5 Opus would look like, but let's leave it to a possible imagination. So these are the premium models. Premium models are served under two usages. One is a fast usage, the second one is a slow usage. So if you're in the free plan, you get 50 slow premium requests. So you can probably use it or you can just pay like $20 or $40 depending upon how do you want to use it. Now, what kind of things that you can do with cursor? One of the most valuable features or the feature that people love about cursor is a cursor tab. So you can just type something and then tap, 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 and it's going to generate the code for you. You can chat with cursor as well. So one of the things that you can also do is you can tab and generate code. It can edit, it can create the diff for you, or you can also let cursor predict it for you. You can chat with cursor. So like for example, if you've got a code base, you can go chat with the cursor and there are a lot more other things that you can do. One of the things that people love is command K. And also I think they have recently introduced something called command L. So these are the certain things that you can use or to leverage cursor to the maximum benefit. So if you were to, if I were to summarize this quickly, one Claude 3.5 Sonnet has completely transformed programming. Now somebody has taken this and put it inside a code editor for you to use it and then you can use it. But I'm going to give you much better news where I know cursor has got this cultish following, but there is a new open source ish editor visual uh, IDE has come up and this new editor, which is called Zen AI. So if you see Zen AI, you can, you can even clone the source. So this is a new gen IDE primarily focused on AI. So it's very uh, cursor ish competition. So, but only thing in this case is it's open source. And this company also gives you a bunch of free Claude 3.5 credit, I guess, for you to play with that. So it has got a bunch of different use cases. So you can chat with that. You can do tab. You can do a bunch of other things like get the terminal and all those things. So if you do not want to use cursor, I would also encourage you to try out Z, but I might start making separate uh, editive related videos because there is a strong interest in this. And a lot of people would love to use this, learn it in the right way, improve their programming. And even I'm trying to build a SaaS or a tool or a product with these kind of tools. So I would love to put document my learning and tutorials as form of a video. But if you have got any uh, recommendation, any suggestion, anything that I've left out or anything I've uh, exaggerated in this video, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy prompting.